setter in volleyball is primarily supposed to set the ball to his attackers. Be accurate, be able to make uh, quick and high sets, but setter can also be a threat on offense and make some uh, surprising points in a match. And that's uh, what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'll give you advice on uh, what situation a setter can attack on a uh, second touch, uh, where he should uh, attack uh, and how he should think about his setter dump. Certainly every setter should have a computer in his head, because he is uh, making the play. He is director of his team. He has to be creative, he shouldn't play the same types of sets uh, all the time. And on top of that, uh, he should be a threat uh, to the opponent uh, not only on the serve or on the block. I don't mean that he is going to hit every other ball that comes uh, his way. Instead, the setter should be able to play the ball on the second touch uh, in the opponent's uh, half of the court and score a point with that action. It's the kind of uh, unexpected attack by a setter that uh, top setters do well. And I believe that uh, you want to be like them. But then there is uh, the question. When is the right moment to make that setter dump? The essential requirement is that the setter is in position in the front zones at the net, because in those zones uh, he can block and play the ball over the net uh, to the other side. If the setter is back, uh, then dumping the ball to the other side uh, over the net is a mistake that every referee will immediately penalize. The second condition is that the ball must fly high to the net, uh, ideally into the setter hand in jump. Then the setter has the best angles and chance to succeed with his technical attack. If the ball flies low to the setter and he has to bump the ball, you simply can't make a point with a setter dump. And when we talk about moments uh, to use the setter dump, uh, one of the best moments is when the setter often plays uh, with his uh, middle blockers. They then tie up uh, the middle blockers on the other side who have to follow them. They have to stand uh, against them and wait for their potential attacks. And when the setter will often play a quick set uh, with the middle blocker two or three meters away, then he has a great chance to make a setter dump himself, uh, knowing that the opposing uh, middle blocker won't block him because he is uh, more than two meters away. Another situation where a setter can dump the ball is when his hitters don't score points. When he has a good pass, but his attackers are not able to make a point in attack. If the setter has a good confidence, uh, he will take advantage of this situation. And so uh, do the best uh, setters in the world. Or if you are playing a long rally and the ball flies over the net a few times, a surprise setter dump uh, can also help. Just think of a uh, setter dump as a surprise that the opponent uh, won't detect and uh, another potential threat uh, to the opponent uh, that can overload their defensive uh, capacities and mean a point for your team. On the other hand, uh, the setter should not play a setter dump to the other side uh, mm. under pressure in a stress. Then your intentions can end badly. You can dump mm. the ball into the net, uh, or when dumping you touch the mm. net, and uh, also the ball can slip uh, through your hand and end up far in the mm. opponent's field or even mm. out of court. Every setter should uh, take a few minutes uh, once in a while to do simple drills and practice uh, these uh, technical attacks. And that's why I'm going to show you simple drills uh, and the three most effective ways uh, where to dump the ball. To practice all of these situations, have a teammate uh, pass the ball from the court high to the net. The setter then has to quickly get his feet under the ball and jump straight up. You should not jump forward, backward or sideways. You must be accurately under the ball. The first type of setter dump is to jump up to prepare your hands for the set, uh, but just before setting the ball, with your left hand, uh, quickly throw the ball to the other side. It should be an unreadable emotion. You should not be able to tell if you are going to set to zone 4 or if you are going to dump the ball. Try this a few times and always try to throw the ball as close as possible behind the net in 3 meter zone. This is where your technical dumps uh, have the best uh, chance of uh, success. If you dump the ball to the 5 meters, uh, the opponent's defense mm. will uh, surely handle it in the field. The second situation and uh, possible solution uh, when you have the ball passed uh, high on the net is to dump it behind your head. It's riskier, you can see behind your head. Also at this moment, uh, the outside hitter can jump with you on the block. Therefore, have in your repertoire uh, from these uh, high balls over the net also a one-handed set behind the head, so that you are not left with only one solution to this situation. Otherwise, when you have the ball uh, very high over the net, always dump it with your right hand uh, just behind the net and your head. Again, try this a few times. 
or in the same situation with the ball high over the net uh, you can choose to make a long dump to the back corner of the court deep into zone 5 here you need to be sure that the player in zone 5 is standing close to the net and uh, expecting a hard attack then your long quick dump into the corner can be successful don't count on the being able to dump uh, like this often in a match. No one plays that, uh, rather it's a setter attack uh, that even the best setters uh, play at most once or twice a game. Once you have practiced these individual types of uh, setter dump attacks, uh, then combine uh, everything into one more complex drill. Have your high balls uh, thrown to the net and set uh, one to zone four, then alternate irregularly between a three meter zone dump, a one-handed dump behind you, a one-handed set and a corner dump. In all these situations, uh, you should make uh, similar movements uh, and your attacks on the second touch uh, should be as uh, illegible as possible. Additionally, if you would like to improve your setting technique, uh, check out this video where I show you about uh, how to set uh, properly and I also speak about the most common setting mistakes. Anyway, if you are a setter, don't forget to learn a setter dump. Sometimes your one successful attack can win you the whole match. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.